hello to all today's topic is regarding microRNA also known as miRNA abbreviation form and this is a genetic regulator RNA now human genome encodes more than thousand of microRNA which regulate in turn 60% of our genes now this topic is very important uh, nowadays it is a major discovery uh, of the last decade and there are lots of questions which are being asked on the exams uh, like USMLE, uh, NEET PG and other competitive medical examinations. So today we are going to learn about what is microRNA, uh, what is its basic function, how it functions uh, what is its role and how it uh, do, do this, uh, how it does the genetic regulation, uh, what are its targets, what is the mechanism uh, and what is its role in various diseases. Now you will be surprised to see uh, the spectrum of diseases in which microRNA involve starting from alcohol abuse to cardiomyopathy to atherosclerosis to various cancers also. So, without wasting the time, let us start with this topic. So, as the name indicates, it is a microRNA. So, it is a very small molecule. It is a small RNA structure which is having just 22 nucleotides. And it is not that it is found in humans only. It is found in plants various animals, even in some viruses, uh, it is found. So a small RNA molecule uh, comprising of 22 nucleotides approximately. It is basically a non-coding RNA. Okay, uh, There is no protein product which will come out of this uh, RNA. Uh, this RNA's function is basically actually to inhibit protein formation that we will learn when we will see its function and mechanism of action. So it is basically a non-coding RNA. So what are its basic function? Its basic function is RNA in RNA splicing and the main function is the regulation of gene expression, especially post-transcriptional. Why I'm saying post-transcriptional? Because once RNA, mRNA is formed, after that uh, it will do the regulation of gene expression and that is very interesting to see that uh, how it does once mRNA is formed how will you alter the gene expression how will you make sure that this protein will be formed or this protein will be altered or this protein will not be formed and this uh, magic is done by microRNA or miRNA now we will uh, understand it function step by step first we will see its basic function so this diagram will depict uh, the basic function of uh, microRNA now let us uh, understand the normal scenario as we all know that DNA has typical genes these genes code for messenger RNA or what we know as uh, mRNA and this mRNA will undergo translation and form the normal proteins. Now uh, uh, let us understand what will happen if miRNA or microRNA will formed. Obviously miRNA will also be formed from the DNA strand. So there are certain genes known as microRNA genes which will give rise to this microRNA and this microRNA then it will bind to already formed mRNA and once it binds to mRNA it make sure that this protein does not form. That's how it regulates the gene expression. It is basically a negative regulator of mRNA. Okay, so so far we have cleared that M uh, miRNA or microRNA it is a small RNA molecule of 22 nucleotides. Sorry for that. <laughs> and uh, it will uh, do its function by binding to mRNA and inhibiting the translation. Now let us understand how it is being uh, formed or what is the biosynthesis or biogenesis of uh, miRNA and we know that 40% of miRNA genes or microRNA genes they are in DNA but it includes both introns as well as exons okay so 40 percent of miRNA genes line in the intron or exons of other genes also so 
let us see how it is being formed so as you can see we will go in uh, this direction from right to left and then left to right so let us focus uh, the DNA which is there in nucleus so mRNA genes are usually transcribed by an enzyme known as RNA polymerase 2 the polymerase often binds to a promoter found near the DNA sequence encoding what will become the hairpin loop of pre miRNA so from DNA uh, with uh, RNA polymerase 2 transcription will happen and it will form micro RNA which is PRI pre okay pri mRNA and <coughs> the resulting transcript is then capped with a specifically modified nucleotide at 5 dash and polyadenylated with multiple adenosine what we know as poly A tail and splicing will happen so there will be some microprocessing which will be done and this uh, microprocessing will give rise to a pre miRNA or also known as mirtron okay and <coughs> and sometimes this mirtron they directly uh, can generate from DNA also so this pre miRNA uh, which are formed uh, they are spliced directly out of uh, introns uh, and they are known as mirtrons and after that nuclear export will be there so this pre miRNA hairpins will be exported from the nucleus in a process involving a shuttler nucleocytoplasmic shuttler or protein what we know as exportin 5 so this exportin 5 will uh, move this pre miRNA into the cytoplasm so once uh, this is out uh, in cytoplasm this pre miRNA hairpin is further processed by uh, a dicer uh, proteins and this dicer protein will uh, cleave this molecule and form miRNA duplex which will go on un unwinding and uh, then it will bind to risk protein or form mature miRNA or functional miRNA as you can see so this is the basic uh, miRNA formation pathway uh, it is in very uh, brief there are further many steps which are involved uh, at a micro level but uh, this is basically uh, the major outline as you can see so from DNA pre PRI miRNA will be formed and from that with microprocessing Drosha proteins we form pre miRNA sometimes uh, from this transcription from DNA via alternative pathway directly you will get miltron both miltron or pre mRNA can get exported via export in 5 which is a nucleocytoplasmic shuttler uh, it will be cleaved by dicer enzyme form mRNA duplex which will undergo unwinding passenger stain will be degraded and you will have the mRNA which will bind to risk proteins for uh, its function now how it acts or what is the mechanism of action of uh, micro RNAs so as I already told you risk proteins uh, are very important and what this risk stands for RNA induced silencing complex so risk stands for RNA induced silencing complex now why it is called so because it will silence the function of mRNA and what is the function of mRNA to make protein so mRNA will be silenced it will not make any kind of protein once this risk protein binds to them and <coughs> sometimes it is also known as micro RNA ribonucleoprotein complex also known as MIRNP so this mature MIRNA it is a part of risk containing dicer and there are lots of other protein which are part of risk uh, I'm not going into that much detail but uh, risk protein uh, which is bind to miRNA it is also sometimes known as mi risk 
and sorry for that noise argonuit protein or agoprotein family they are very important or they play a very central role in function of uh, risk proteins so what will happen when mirna or risk complex will bind to mrna it will undergo negative regulation so it will uh, bind to mrna and silence them now how it can silence them there are many mechanism but ultimate goal is this either you cleave that mrna you cut it into two pieces or you destabilize it uh, by many mechanisms one of the mechanism which is very common is shortening of poly a tail okay and or you decrease the efficiency of translation uh, into proteins so either you completely shut down the protein synthesis or at least you can decrease the translation into the proteins now there are uh, many mechanisms involved so this is what uh, is happening we have dna from which with help of rna polymerase 2 we have formed pri mirna which undergo cleavage and form pre micro rna uh, which undergo uh, export via export in 5 into cytoplasm undergo further cleavage by dicer and bind to risk protein and form mature mirna this mature mirna can bind to mrna and either it will partially or completely uh, stop the mrna or silence the mrna uh, if it is near perfect complementation it will degrade the mrna if it is partial complementation sequence then it will inhibit the translation there are other proposed mechanism of micro rna so i have tried to list them all down so first is cap 40 as initiation inhibition 60 as ribosomal unit joining inhibition elongation inhibition ribosome drop off co trans a uh, lesional nascent protein degradation sequestration in p bodies mrna decay or destabilization mrna cleavage transcriptional inhibition through micro rna mediated chromatid reorganization followed by gene silencing now as you can see 1 2 6 or at least 5 they are related to inhibition of translation this mrna decay or cleavage they are uh, either destabilization or the destroying of mrna and here uh, the chromatin reorganization followed by gene silencing that is a new one other actions which are sometimes seen is uh, histone modification in dna and dna methylation of promoter sites and which can affect expression of target genes but these are additional and it is not always seen now there is another term known as sirna and some people confuse mirna with sirna so it is not so mirna stands for micro rna sirna stands for small interfering rna now what is the difference mirna it derives from a uh, single stranded rna transcript which fold back to form a hairpin like structure while sirna they derive from longer regions of double stranded rna now what is the role of micro rna in causing the disease now it is involved in many of the cancers and that's why sometimes mirna which cause or involved in cancers they are known as onco mirs or onco mes which is oncogenic uh, micro rnas now the first human disease known to be associated with micro rna deregulation was cll chronic lymphocytic leukemia now high levels of micro rna specific ones uh, like 185 or 133 uh, they have been associated with colorectal cancer some micro rnas are associated with certain histological subtypes of colorectal cancer uh, so mirna over expression can be seen in colorectal cancer or lower level of a micro rna are seen in some cancers like non small cell lung carcinoma hepatocellular carcinoma hodgkin's lymphoma cervical cancer breast cancer and many other uh, cancer involves uh, micro rna uh, level modification and that's why micro rna have potential to be used as a target for treatment of different cancer using the gene therapy now <coughs> micro rna uh, 
this regulation can cause cancer by many ways and one of the major pathway is DNA repair defects. Altered expression of microRNA can cause DNA repair deficiency and which can be an important causal fact factor in causation of disease. For example, 28% of glioblastoma has increased expression of uh, certain microRNA called 181 and they are associated with DNA repair enzyme MGMT defect. It is not that it only causes uh, cancers, uh, mutation or deletion in uh, microRNA uh, region can lead to various diseases like progressive hearing loss, that is deafness, hereditary keratoconus with cataract, anterior polar cataract, skeletal and growth defects. So these are other inherited disease associated with microRNA. Uh, microRNA has been also been involved uh, in uh, cardiomyopathies uh, that is again very uh, surprising to know because it plays a role in cardiogenesis as well as hypertrophic growth response cardiac conduct and cardiac conductance and it also play a role in cholesterol metabolism and regulation it is also associated with uh, atherosclerosis Expansion of nephron progenitors, furanin cells, smooth muscle arterioles, progressive mesangial oils and glomerular aneurysm are associated with microRNA alteration and that's why it has it also plays a role in kidney diseases. Uh, synaptic development, synapse formation as well as synapse maturation involves microRNA and altered microRNA expression can lead to various nervous system disorders like schizophrenia, bipolar disorders, major depression and anxiety disorders. You will be surprised to know that people who do chronic alcohol use or alcoholics they have either upregulated or downregulated certain microRNA levels so it also plays a role in addiction uh, interestingly, it is also associated with obesity, diabetes and aging. MIRNA play crucial role in regulation of stem cell differentiating into fat cells or adipocyte. Certain proteins are decreased like MIR 155, 221 and 222 and certain are increased and that can lead to obesity. And this also gives <laughs> a very um, uh, positive uh, ideas to treat obesity by a gene therapy now certain microRNA they regulate insulin resistance also uh, in case of diabetes for example LAT7 family LAT7 family accumulates in human tissue during the course of aging also so anti-aging therapy treatment of type 2 diabetes this is also possible uh, if you target the microRNA Viral microRNA also plays an important role in regulation of gene expression of viral and host genes to benefit the virus. That's why it also plays in host virus interaction as well as pathogenesis of viral disease. For example, expression of transcriptional activators by human herpes virus 6 DNA is believed to be regulated by viral microRNA. So that's all. Uh, thank you for joining. If you like our videos, do subscribe to our channel, share it and don't forget the bell icon.